We're a very responsible organization and uh, we really care about athletes. And we do things for the athletes that a lot of these other organizations won't. What we provide for the kids uh, I think is excellent. The kids just look so enthusiastic. When I was in high school and I was a full player, I wish I would have had this. This is probably one of the most enjoyable jobs I've ever had. <laughs> Schumann's National Underclassmen Combine, also known as the NUC, was founded in 2005 to create a focused environment that allows freshmen, sophomores, and juniors to showcase their skills and talents for college recruiters and recruiting organizations. Well, of course, um, we were uh, one of the first of our kind out there, and we are the largest in the country right now as far as high school combine events. Our combine, it definitely gives uh, athletes the opportunity to uh, receive a scholarship for free education, um, to better themselves and go on to college. The whole company was built on the belief that uh, we can make a positive impact on the uh, lives of those athletes that work really hard. I would say our personal relationship we build with these athletes, um, our, our customer service that we provide for the families, the service itself for the price. At a good price, so athletes from all over the country and athletes of all walks of life come with some other camps are upwards of $500. We've kept our you know, camp in the same price range even though it is currently a rough economy. So I believe that we present an equal opportunity for athletes from all across. They run camps all around the country. That's one of the great things with National Underclassmen. They have so many different combines in so many different areas of this country that so many different people can get noticed. And the opportunities that we give um, players um, at the high school level to be looked at um, not only test-wise but skills-wise on the college level itself. We send out the stats to all three colleges and we have multiple recruiting bureaus, uh, bureaus covering our camp and we do things for the athletes that a lot of these other organizations won't. That We have um, a great reputation with the college coaches. Our coaches are very responsible and care for the athletes. Having the opportunity to see how much of an influence the coaches have on the players and the athletes. You can tell just through the video and they look in the kids' eyes that they really are learning. I feel like um, I've been as much of a role model as I could be, an older brother figure as well as a coach to some of these kids. I still keep in touch with a lot of them. The NUC staff interacts with thousands of student athletes this season, sharing their advice and giving important tips to each and every individual knowing that what I'm doing is going to help the kids, you know, whether it be a, a good write-up, which a parent tells me really helped the kid, or if I give the athlete specific advice on which events to attend or, you know, if he's stuck in a tough position, that's really something that, you know, I, I pride myself on and it makes me feel good knowing that I've helped out a kid. Doing what I love, which is just coaching, evaluating the athletes, um, even being in the office, I mean, this is probably one of the most enjoyable jobs I've ever had. And my best memories uh, was this year's Ultimate 100, Junior Day. Uh, the Southwest, I, I got a chance to coach Camille Jackson, who's playing in our game. Uh, we won the semifinal game in double overtime. We lost the championship in triple overtime. Camille's mom was into it. She had the whole crowd chanting. Uh, it was an unbelievable experience. You know, there was trash talking. There was exciting plays. Definitely one of the best moments in NUC history. I, mean, I think that the biggest thing that I do is my writing. You know, for example, I wrote an article uh, on an athlete who hitchhiked from Canada and he was very excited about it. You know, we mentioned that a lot of people were interested in it and, and something like that could show a college coach uh, determination of an athlete. So you know, I believe the, the words I write, you know, my penmanship is extremely important. Here at NUCB department, uh, we hope to broaden the range of exposure uh, for athletes so they can get noticed by college coaches and will have the chance to get recruited and get a college education. We're not only just looking at the elite athlete itself, we're looking at every athlete in general and trying to get them exposure on the college level. It doesn't matter if it's Division One, Division Two, II, Division One AA, Division Three. Our goal is to get the high school athlete into college. With football's popularity at an all-time high, more student athletes are looking to play at the next level. This has required them to do more than ever before to stand out hard work, determination, and getting your name and your stats and everything out there. Hit the way you can work as hard as you possibly can if you can get some speed and agility and find metric training um, and just to work as hard as you possibly can to get there. So there's no excuses if you get you know if you get to that point and you can't get into a top level division one school and you don't get accepted, you at least say you did everything you possibly could to try and you know make it. Um, and there's nothing wrong with going to Division II, Division III school and being a big fish in a small pond. I mean, it's, it's very rewarding in itself. you got to be optimistic, but you also have to be realistic. Definitely, you know, you still want to set your goals high, um, most importantly, but you always want to have 
you know, other options. You want to have your plan B, your plan C, just in case, you know, plan A falls through for you. Over the past five years, National Underclassmen has helped countless students get college exposure, and more than 25% of those students have earned a Division I scholarship. With all these accomplishments during the first five years, what can the NUC do in the next five years? You know what, the sky's are definitely the limit. I mean, we went from 8,000 athletes to 17,000 athletes to 22,000 athletes, and now we're doing a bowl game where people are talking about us on, on a national level, where the game will be nationally televised, and we're getting top-notch kids to come. With the addition of the NUC Old Grind Classic being year one now, in five years we're hoping to get it to the level where it's at the other all-star games that are nationally televised as well. But I think um, with the addition of the all-world game, bringing in international players, that's going to open up um, a whole world of opportunity for us to not only have events in this country, but internationally as well. One great thing is we're just now, in these next couple of years, a lot of the kids who went to our high school combines are starting to make it through college and finish up their college career. And I think in five years, you'll see where a lot of kids that are seniors in high school now will be coming first round, second round, third round draft picks possibly, and they can say, hey, I started at the NUC.